Hey, Bob here from PyBytes. Welcome back to another uh, training video. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Faker package, awesome package to make fake data. And we're going to use the um, standard library CSV module to write a bunch of uh, fake rows to a CSV file. And uh, this was an interesting use case because we're growing the platform, we're growing our school tier and to quickly demo it, uh, we needed a CSV file with a bunch of fake students and teachers and classes. And this is actually some useful code um, I will use uh, for the platform to quickly um, load in a bunch of students and, and show that off um, to schools. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It is live coding, 13 minutes, and um, I hope you learn a lot. We also look a little bit at the debugger and the dir. Uh, built in to inspect objects. Um, hope that's useful. And uh, yeah, see you at the end of the demo. So here I'm at my terminal and let's um, make a virtual environment. I have this alias because I do this every day. Then I install Faker. And quickly how this works. From faker, import faker, make a faker object, and now I can use random things. I get random names, random usernames, and random emails, which we can even limit to a domain, which is pretty cool. So that's it. That's a really nice way to get random data. So the script we're going to build today is a CSV file containing random students that are assigned to classes and teachers. So we're going to make a CSV file called students and it's going to have an email, a class name and a teacher username. Right? So this is going to be how it's going to look and then we have a bunch of rows. Um, so let's make a script and one thing I want is to kind of loop through uh, a bunch of te teachers so I'm going to use from iter tools import cycle we're going to write it to a CSV file and we're going to use the faker package I'm not going to write functions yet, I'm just going to experiment in the main body. So let, let's make a few teachers actually. So I'm going to make teachers is cycle through two teachers. And I need that faker object of course. Again, the teachers are usernames. And now we can just loop through a bunch of teachers infinitely. All right, we have two teachers, Harrison, Natalie, uh, usernames, and O Herrera. And we just constantly loop through them. So that's cool. And I guess we also want to do that with classes. So here, well for that I don't really need faker. I can just say math, English, and physics. And that's the same principle. I have a cycle, I have a generator which I can just loop through infinitely. Math, English, physics, math, English, physics, etc. So now to get n rows, um, it's pretty straightforward. We can just um, get a fake email, a class, and a teacher. 
And this is kind of the content we want. So how do we get this into a CSV? Well, in the documentation, which is excellent, we see um, we have dict writer, uh, which is my favorite because it lets you write dictionaries. It's a bit more readable. And we can just take this snippet And here we make a student's CSV file. We make it, we give it new line empty. Otherwise we get a double new line. And here we need to specify the field names, which is email, class, and teacher. And then we make a writer object. We write the header and then for each row, we write that dictionary. So that's email. That's going to be fake email. Class is going to be that next on the classes generator. And teacher is going to be a next on the teachers generator. So let's run this and let's see what I got created. And exactly, we have the header, email class teacher, and we have an email, a class, and a teacher username. And the teachers are alternating between Z Martinez and Miller Mario. So those are different because we call it a fake um, object again for the script. So this will change every time. The classes are hard coded. Um, I'm not sure if Faker has class names, um, but I'm happy with to go with these. It's just test data after all. One little tweak, two little tweaks actually, is to um, make the email of the PyBytes domain, which is fun. And I think we can do a write rows as well. So we could actually write a list of dictionaries, but this is fine for now actually. And we can make this a function. And specify the number of rows, default to 10. And probably also a file name. which we can default to students CSV. And now it's a bit more generic, right? So if I go write my main, I can also make 100 students to a file name called students2. Let's quickly check flake. Uh, two blank lines, yeah. And here we need to indent this a little bit more. All right, flake eight is happy. Of course we get 101 because we have a header as well. And here we have a bunch of PyBytes emails, of course, <laughs> fake ones. The classes are still those three that are just cycling through. And we have two teachers, Angela Clark, occurs 50 times. And Lindsay Jacqueline also occurs 50 times. So that's... Uh, pretty cool. Um, again, using the faker module, fake, we can use username and email. And actually, let me put a breakpoint in here just to show how many good things this package has. So you can do a dir on the object and 
see how many cool things you can actually get. You can also get a URL, those are methods. You can also get a Unix device. You can get a street address. And we can get a year, a zip, Anyway, there's a bunch of stuff, so it's uh, super useful in creating your fake data. I think that's it. A nice little function. Um, actually, strictly speaking, you might break the generation of... Let's actually do that, because a function should ideally do one thing. So I think I'm going to break this out in create fake data. That's then actually the number of rows you want. So that's not going to happen here anymore. And we probably want to split this out a little bit. To separate concerns. This now clashes. Well, let's make that N. And here we want that dictionary. we want to pass in the rows and actually we can use writer dot write rows to write the rows in one go and now we have a nice separation of concerns so this becomes great fake data 400 rows and then create students CSV, so maybe call this create fake students rather, student data, and then pass those rows into the create student CSV function. Uh, here I need to fix the syntax, let's flag 8 this, yeah that's still fine. Let's move students to well, I was going to diff it, but that doesn't make sense because the the fake data changes, right? So there's nothing really to diff against. So let me just run it and let me overwrite the file. Still 101 lines. Let's open it up. Still two teachers, but they changed, of course. And... 100 emails and still of course those three classes evenly divided perfect but the code is a bit cleaner because every function does its own thing so one builds up the fake data and one writes the fake data into a csv file which is a little nicer so apart from covering these modules you also saw a bit of software best practices we always um, teach and help our clients with in our coaching. Hey, this is Bob again. I hope you really liked that video. And uh, yeah, as we've um, told the community, we're building out our channel and our goal is to hit 1000 subscribers in September. So in order to grow the channel and to really, yeah, give us the resources to build more quality um, content for you, please subscribe below. It really helps the channel. And uh, we're super excited to provide you more Python career and mindset content in the coming months. Also, if you like the video, let us know below any comments, um, things we can do better. Please let us know also for other things you want to see on this channel. That will be uh, greatly helpful because we really want to make the content that you most need. Thank you and see you in the next video.